Let's take a close examination of the bow hand here. We'll start with the thumb. It's under here and it's bent. It's at this angle. And I'm going to place it under the stick, touching partly the stick and partly the frog. I'm going to aim my middle finger to cover the thumb and the ring finger just kind of tags along, goes along with it. The main contact point is right under there and then these the fingertips just kind of hang over there and cover up the thumb. Pinky just goes on top and the pointer finger rests on its side. From the top angle you can see that it's in between these two knuckles here the way it's resting on the top of the bow. My fingers look a little diagonal compared to the the bow and that's because my arm is turned as if I'm looking to see what time it is. I've got a watch on. If my arm were not turned it might look like this and you can see it immediately impacts the bow hand. So we'll go back to having the arm turned a little bit. If you lift up these fingers it's almost as if the thumb and the pinky are looking at each other through the bow. Remember the middle finger is covering the thumb. If you look at it in this angle you can see a nice round opening in there. And Remember that the violin holds the bow up so you don't need to hold the bow very hard, just enough to give it some guidance. One last look. Thumb corner. Flop over.